Hello friends, welcome to Be Learning Club. So in the previous video, I showed you how can you create a student registration information and show it in another web page like LIST list and sorry LIST LIST and you can see the name, score, email and here you also you input the name, student, email and fill this form and then submit. And in this video, only authenticated user see this list. Otherwise, any user cannot see this list. So how can we do that? So let's start. So at first, uh, I recommend you please watch the previous video. How can you create a student registration information form? So here I just fill this form like poster email poster at gmail.com and fill the date of birth so just fill it choose any date choose any gender and the registration code is 00036 and admission test score out of 100 um, 90 so submit so yeah entry has been saved so realize the list and you can see poster but in this video i will show you only authenticated user see this list so first of all just go to google search if user is authenticated django uh, i search for the django template like this if user dot is authenticated you can use this django and just copy this and now go to the templates and here is the index now this is the form and this is the form section and this is the container section end and just at the bottom i just want to create a button so here just copy this if user dot is authenticated otherwise you can write if user dot is authenticated that means if user is logged in then he see this section and now end the if block end if okay so now just go to bootstrap and search for a button bootstrap and just go to bootstrap get started doc and just search for the buttons and you can see a lot of button here mm. ah, copy any button and here paste inside this button button primary i just button success a c u c c e s s button success and now uh, just change it to view all student data save it and just go to the home that means index and you can see view all student data but this is so basically i just copy this full section and after the form paste it and class copy okay let's see how it's looking like okay so you can see view all student data so now change it to the anchor tag and hyper reference h r e a and now go to the urls.py so the name of the list url is list list so just go to the mm, index and here just type percent percent url url and the name of the url is list and it's directly redirect to list this url and this is the views dot list stu so it is a views dot list stu so now here just search for log in decorator deco Decorator, login decorator Django. So you can see the login decorator Django. That means uh, to access this view, this login required function is required. 
so you have to import this like from django.crontip.org.decorator import the login decorator so just go to your code editor and type django.contrib.auth.decorator so just from django dot con not con contrib dot auth dot decorator import login required and now before this function just type add rate login required okay so now just save it and just refresh it you can see the view all student data because of i am login with admin so i am authenticated user so i just logged out and now refresh it so you cannot see this button if you now want to access this list but you cannot access list because uh, for accessing this list you have to go through the accounts login so you have to be authenticated user for accessing this list so if i authenticated but that means if i logged in let's see what happened so admin and just logged in and now run the server okay so uh, 8000 sorry and run it so you can see the uh, view all student data because you are logged in user so in this way you can access any page if you are logged in or authenticated user i think this video is helpful to you so don't forget to subscribe the channel and just keep sharing my video and support the channel thank you friends